Usually when I'm faced with an obstacle, I've learned that you can't avoid it. No matter what happens with that obstacle, it's either gonna teach you something or it's gonna take you forward. The only way you go backwards is if you try and avoid it. So you might as well just attack it and go from there. My name is Jojo Polk and I'm the owner of Core Fitness Studio. Man, when I was playing football in high school, I didn't get a full ride. I ended up having to go to junior college first. When I went to junior college, I found my full-time school. So I ended up going to a division two school, Northeastern State in Oklahoma. We didn't have a college pro day. NFL teams would just come work us out individually. The Chiefs ended up being the ones that were taking a look at me, but they wanted to see me go against bigger competitions. So that, that's how I got introduced to arena football. I had no clue what it was, but uh, once I started playing, it was a lot of fun, a lot of fast paced, high scoring, and I was gonna get a chance to go to Chiefs camp. Um, well, before that happened. I, I broke my neck and was paralyzed from the waist down, so. literally it shattered. My C5 was like this and my C7 was pushing down into my spine. You just don't realize how precious life is until something like that happens. And so you go from being this supposedly top flight athlete to not knowing if you're ever gonna walk again. That's it's just one of those things that just is something you can't plan or prepare for. They wanted to put two plates in my neck and they would have put two screws in and then fused the bones together. It took three opinions. Like the first opinion, I said, no, I don't want the surgery. Second opinion, no. And so the third doctor was like, at the time, since I had broke my neck, I was in a halo. So I couldn't move anyway. And he's like, he's already in the halo. So why don't we see if his bone starts to grow back on its own? Thank God that's what happened. It started growing back on its own. For those of you that don't know about paralysis, like. You're not out of the woods until you're actually out of the woods. I used to be laying in bed and out of nowhere I would be paralyzed again. Like I, I couldn't move. My doctor was like, yo, you don't know if you're still gonna be paralyzed for good or if you know, you're know you gonna be walking regular. He's like, we, don't, we can't answer that for you. We just gotta wait and see what happens. So the rehab process was like unbelievable, hard to explain. Um, so honestly, for me, just walking again was my goal. And I just wanted to be able to live a normal life, have a family, or at least have a chance at it, you know? I ended up coming back playing ball for another nine years, which was unbelievable. So I, I played arena after, and I actually played at a higher level. While I was playing ball though, I used to always work out my teammates. And so I knew I had a passion for fitness. And so once, football was over, I was like, I wonder if I could get into personal training, things like that. So I got my certification and the rest is history. At the end of my arena football career, I met probably the best woman in the world. So, and she became my wife. I mean, you just know, you are, <laughs> that's kind of how it works, you know. So uh, once we met, we dated for a little while, but I mean, we got married pretty quick. So when we were having our second child, my son, um, my wife had something that's called um, postpartum cardiomyopathy, which is failure of the heart after you have the baby. And so my wife actually died. Um, having my son twice, to be honest. Um, the second time I actually had to witness, which is probably the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. Honestly, if you ask me, my wife's my hero. Like, that's the strongest person I know. 
I had been a trainer for a while and I actually got approached um, about Core Fitness Studio by the owner at the time. And she wanted to partner. You don't pass up opportunities like that. And so I uh, ended up partnering with her. And then in about, I think 2015, um, I ended up taking it over myself and I've owned it myself ever since. I think everything in your life is something to push you forward. And so when I broke my neck, I came up with things to get me through. I didn't have anybody cheering me on or pushing me on. It was like me, I had to get through it. And so one of my high school coaches used to tell me to dig all the time. I turned dig into determination, intensity, and guts. So basically you have to have the determination to start something. You have to have the intensity to keep it going. And then the guts is the hard part. You have to have the guts to finish. That's what our signature class is called now. It's kind of what we strive for as a fitness community now. It's funny when I hear people outside tell me like, Jojo, I found my dig today, you know? And it's just, it's just a cool thing that just kind of grew up legs on its own, if you will. Like I, I, I used it for myself, but it honestly, um, it is for everybody. Everybody needs to find their dig. It's gotta mean something to you. It's gotta mean something to you. That's just in everyday life. If you're doing something and it doesn't mean something to you, nine times out of 10, you're either gonna stop doing it at some point or you just be like, eh, who cares, right? So we always say that around here too, it's gotta mean something to you. I feel like you're only as strong as your team. And what a lot of owners I think make a mistake is that they feel like they have to dictate to the team. And um, with us, that's not how we work. We work together. I may be quote unquote the owner, but we work together as a team. We work through problems as a team, we meet together, we talk about things because no matter what, in this business, they are in it with me, right? We form friendships that will last a lifetime just because of that. And so it, it's not like a team anymore. All of a sudden you become a family. And that's why we call ourselves a core family because that's what we are. We actually are a family. Once the pandemic hit, it was, you know, foreign to everybody. So it's all basically about adapting. You have to adapt. And we adapted pretty quick. Within a week, we were virtual with all our classes. And then eventually they said we could do outdoor classes. So we did that. Um, at that point, we were still doing all of our things. We were doing online, we were doing outdoor, and we decided to like, try and slowly work our way back inside. But all the while, you know, keeping our clients and my staff safe. Once everything kind of like got to a point where you're like, wow, this isn't gonna end anytime soon. That's when things got a little bit tough and you had to kind of realize and readapt what your plan was gonna be going forward. Usually when I'm faced with an obstacle, basically I've learned that you can't avoid it. It's either gonna teach you something or it's gonna take you forward. You know, so the, the only way you go backwards is if you try and avoid it or if you try and go around it or if you try and forget that it's there because it doesn't go away. So you might as well just attack it and go from there. the bottom of my heart, like it means more to me than you'll ever know. You push us forward and you give us life and you keep us who we are and we stay on point because of you. So all the things that we do for you, believe me, you do that in return and I can't ask for a better life. I can't ask for a better wife and daughter um, and I can't ask for a better job to have. I mean, I, I've been blessed and I, I can't thank you enough. It's hard to put in words like why um, people want to come to your gym or want to um, be around you or you know, you know like follow you if you will. But I think it's just you being you. You know, the, the one thing that I feel like is missing in the world is just people just being themselves, being genuine, like being open to to fail, being open to be flawed, being open to just like let life happen. There's always time to like, just be you, be kind to somebody, be nice. My grandmother raised me that way. My mom raised me that way, just to always be kind and then let things happen after that. Going forward, I just want to keep growing. I just want to keep um, 
finding my own light, making sure that I'm living the way that I want to live and being the person that I want to be and not getting caught up in just the saying of it or just what's going on around me. Put my family first, my, my members and my staff come before me. Like, I feel like you're only as good as what you're around. So I just try and make sure like I keep everybody in that pecking order. And once you do that, it's easy to kind of just let everything else kind of happen. And so I just want to grow and just keep getting stronger from there.